No, no, no. It's been a long time since y'all seen me. And today is day 30. We're literally one month later from me starting worm farming, gardening, all that good stuff. Now, this week I've been battling um, a summer cold and I'm still sneezing. Well, not sneezing. My nose is still stopped up. Cough from every now and then. However, I, I think it's better than yesterday. And I haven't done no updates on any of the terrariums or outdoors. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get fresh air today. I'm going to be outside. I'm going to do some work today. You know, I got to do something. I can't. Just have today be another sick day. I, I have to do something, <laughs> you know? So, first things first. I'm not gonna work on this first. However, last video I did, I told y'all, we're gonna do it. So we're gonna do this today. We're gonna make this huge terrarium. These plants have been inside my house. They look like they're dying. They look like they're on their last leg. So I'm gonna add that to that. We're gonna see how that grows. And a stubborn friend of mine put some uh, weed stems in there. He's like, actually, I, I had this question asked more than one person. Are you gonna grow weed? Are you growing weed? Of course not. I'm not gonna risk my freedom to grow weed all right so let's go in and um start off with the springtail cultures today i added another onion towards the environment and i don't even have to open it up y'all can see it that the springtails are doing great they are booming excellent this is the original culture and I'll just add some into the secondary culture, as y'all should remember I died me. There goes one in there. There should be a whole lot more. But this culture, I believe, is doing good. Uh-huh, y'all can see that. And y'all can see that. I'm a bit ashy. I tell you, the Jersey air just does something to your skin. It just does. And this is the newest one. And y'all see the boys. So yeah, it's got three spring cultures. And we're going to check up on these terrariums and see do they need worms? Because I should bring the worms out. And they need more springtails. Let's go on and take a look. All right. <clears throat> As you can see, it looks like the worms probably died in here. That doesn't look good right there. See all that fungi in there? All right, let's go on and uh, open it up. Oh man, do you see that green? It's just completely covered, you know? And um, we don't see any bugs that are alive in here. But the overall, I see the moss is still green, despite it being covered in this bacteria maybe algae so since i don't see any springtails in here i think we should add some springtails in here all right i say overall is doing good but it could be doing better a, a pretty cool example of of uh of life right there all right, next on the list, this one. Just about, looks like the same thing. Um, just more of that white um, algae, bacteria. Do we see any live worms in here? Oh, that might be one, but it might be dead. All right, let's go in and uh, open it up. Oh yeah, y'all can see it. All that uh, algae up in there. 
Usually don't see any springtails. I don't see any springtails. I don't see nothing much. So this one would be categorized with the other one. It's going to need some more springtails. And uh, maybe another worm like the other one. Let's go to check up on this one. Oh, all of these um, terrariums, except for this one, is close to a month old. Like over 10 days, we could say. All right. Definitely over 10 days. This one, do we see any worms? Nope. Do we see any springtails? Nope. And I think there's a fly in here. So what, what, what ended up happening is I opened up the, the terraria and I watered them. You know, put a couple of sprays of water in there. Oh, there goes the springtails, right? Right there. Oh no, it's not moving. I don't know. That springtail is not moving at all. He is probably asleep. <coughs> I told you, I'm, <coughs> I'm still spitting up flow. All right. If there's flies in here, they're probably going to fly away, unfortunately. All right. All right. So I release that top. And let me move my finger. Because, oh my goodness, it's like my phone and my wallet, right? All right. Let me see, can I just position? There we go. No finger in the frame. Anybody? Is anybody alive in here? As y'all can see, some onion, because I did add onion. Oh, wow, there goes the worm. And then I'll decompose. And it um, smells a, a, a little in there. I wouldn't say it's bad. Um, but, yep. That's the view that y'all got. That I got. And um, I guess we're going to need to add some more worms. The springtails to this. This doesn't look too good. I mean, we can still see some greenery from that moss, but it's kind of dark. All right. It's, it's going to need a bounce back. <coughs> All right. Um, the monstrosity of this. Where are the worms? We just see some worm castings in there. See some rocks. Ah, there goes a the springtail. That's good. So, and it's alive. It's moving around. So, springtail in there, meaning there should be more. Um, anybody do we see at the top? Because this one had a fly in it. Maybe the fly died, because flies only live for about a day or two. Believe it or not. Alright, so I'm opening up the top. Oh, oh, look at this. A guest appearance from the isopod. And it looks like he is busy at work and breaking down any fungi that might be in here. He is doing his job. So, um, I'll consider this good even though the moss looks like it's just about dead <coughs> but hey there is life and you can see he is the king of this jar doing his job breaking down um decomposing matter so um i guess i'll just let this be Let's see what, what happens for that. And for our biggest, most active one, it looks like the plants and the grass is finally dying. This clover is still alive. And the moss looks like it's still mostly alive, except for a huge chunk of it is gone. Any flies that are still alive in here? Or I guess they all died. All right, we're gonna open it up and see 
Ah, we see a beetle in there. You see him? Aha, uh -huh, he hid away from the exposure. Um. Yep, there he goes making another appearance right there. All right, so um, this terrarium is um, the most liminal out of all of them. All I did was put in that moss right there. Oh, a fly did fly out. It, look. He came out. Well, you got a life outside of the jar, my friend. Hope you have a good one. Yeah, the grass and the clover and that weed, that naturally sprung up in there from the dirt that was in there. So what is this showing us? Small terrariums suffer. Larger terrariums tend to do better. I guess more atmosphere for it to bloom. All right. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, go on and review these plants. It looks like this plant is still holding on, I believe. Even though it looks like the death already started from the bottom, affected these, starting to heavily affect this, starting to affect the tips, even all the way up to here, and it's going to continue to climb up. Um, hopefully the flower gets a bloom though. Hopefully it does. And this bush, as predicted, it is dying. It's not going to make it. So we're going to take it out. And on top of that, it looks like the bush that is mostly exposed to the light is, is, is dying. The rest of the bush that is actually submerged in the water is, is uh, green as ever. So we're going to have a unique decision and say that this will be added to the to the fishes. All right. The fishes hopefully will enjoy this prickly bush. All right. Um, let's go ahead and give you all the big good news about the grass the grass is starting to grow now since i'm gonna be working out here and yeah i keep forgetting about this weed i'm gonna get rid of this weed right boom look how green that is look how full that is excellent this is where the grass started growing at first and it's going along excellent hopefully we get full grass and you know it matches with the rest of this. Um, this is all first time look for me, so it's the first time look for y'all. And as y'all can see, no grass, but plenty of uh, wild weeds. So the ground is healthy. I need to work on this some more to make it more suitable for grass. And um, yeah, I did manage to check this. If it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before. And may maybe you are surprised. I'm a little surprised, but not. And what do y'all see? Those new flowers all died. All of them, see that? All of them. That one's just about dead. Yeah, they're just about dead and, and dying, as you can see. Right beside my flowers I originally planted, Doing great. If anything, I'm gonna have to pick some more weeds. And that also reminds me, I'm gonna make my um, special weed formula to kill them. As you can see, there's no grass growing. So I'm gonna have to continue to work on this. Try to get this grass to grow like boom. Now look at how healthy and how, how clumped up this grass is. This perfect ideal grass right there. You know, growing within the, the, the bed. So it, it shows that there is a potential. I just need to extend the potential outward. And um, yeah, that should be the end of the updates. The front of the yard looks good. I planted new flowers there, y'all. 
As you know, in previous clips, they're doing great. Full sunshine. And um, we're gonna have to clean up some more back here. Let's see all this trash. How cluttered it is. So today we're gonna to be looking at um, sunny days with some clouds. I don't think it's gonna be raining, so that's what makes today a why not work outside day and enjoy the weather. Yesterday was, the, the weather was so perfect. So hopefully we get back to back days of that because I mean, the weather was so perfect yesterday. It was a shame that I was sick and I stayed inside. So today I'm uh, just going to muster up if I sneeze, if I cough, whatever. I'm going to be out here enjoying this weather and, and getting some work done. All right. So I'll give you all another update on this plant with the fishes and the other plants. And um, we'll see where that goes. <laughs> 